Uh, welcome back again. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, the share navigation task two. Um, we're going to be looking at the quiz. Um, the quiz has already been solved here. So for the first quiz, um, we use touch uh, to create an empty file. Um, we use the uh, rm to delete a file. Then uh, we we'll use a uh, cp to copy a file. Uh, we we'll use a uh, less to display the content of a file. Uh, we we'll use a uh, mv to rename or move a file. Then we we'll use a uh, rmd arrow and to remove or delete a directory. Then you will you will use um, mkdi arrow to create a directory, which means make a directory. Uh, we we'll use a uh, pwd uh, to display the current uh, working directory. Uh, we we'll use uh, ls to display uh, all files of our current directory then we will use a cd to change uh, directory uh, so uh, that's the task that's the um, answer to the quiz uh, so now we're going to uh, looking at uh, providing solutions to uh, each of the tasks so first we're going to create we're going to change to our uh, root directory then we'll create a file an empty file called so cool so, so to do this we just go ahead and open our sandbox so this is how we're going to do that Uh, so here we are in a sandbox. So let's be, uh, create the empty file uh, in our root directory. So already we are in our root directory. But for um, learning sake, let me just show you how. Uh, let me just demonstrate how this is being done. So you just do cd, uh, cd, then uh, root. Uh, you just hit enter. When you take it to the root directory, we can do it like this. Uh, with this command. We take it directly to the uh, root directory. So now we are the root directory. So we're going to create an empty file called touch so cool. Touch. We're going to create an empty file. Uh, we, we use touch to create an empty file. The name of the file is so cool. So we're going to do it like this. So you can see. Uh, we've created the file. Uh, so cool. So you can use LF to check if this file exists. So you can see the file actually exists. Uh, you can see uh, the file exists. Uh, so cool. Yeah. So that's the file. So let's go ahead and do the next task. Well, first of all, let's check if it's, if the code is correct. So we'll do a check of the code to see if the, our code is correct. So here it's running. So let's wait for it. So you can see we actually checked correctly. So you can see here and uh, the sandbox started file so cool is present and root is not um, is an empty one. So that's for the task zero. So let's go ahead and do the task one. So um, task one said, we should change to a uh, working directory called root, and then we'll copy the um, file school to a uh, TMP directory. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do this, we're just gonna uh, um, do um, CP, CP to copy. Then what are we copying? We're copying the file so cool. So cool from our root directory. Yeah. From our root directory to um, which directory are we copying it to? Uh, copying it to uh, the TMP directory. So it's going to be a uh, CD, uh, sorry, uh, root. Uh, oops, we're going to be a uh, slash, uh, slash TMP. So we're going to copy to this directory. So click enter. So you can see our code is correctly checked. So you can check for the detail. You can see some of started file root is present and the TMP is present and the file TMP school has the same content as root directory. So this is just it for the second task. So let's go ahead and do the first task. Um, to do the third task, let's see what we can do the third task. Uh, the third task, I'm going to change, ask us to change the working directory to the root directory. Then we name the old school file to new school. Um, so we're going to create the file old school first. Then we're going to uh, rename it from old school to new school. We're going to uh, create uh, the school. So let's say touch. Touch old school. Old school. Uh, then let's rename the old school to new school now. MV old school. School to um, new school. Wow, so you can see 
this has worked correctly. So if you check it, um, you see the file here, new school has been created, has been renamed from also to new school. So let's check the code if it's correct. So let's go ahead and check if our code is correct. So to check, we just click on check code as usual. Um, let's check it to see if we, are, if, we are, if, we are, if we did it correctly. Uh, so let's wait for it. Wow, you can see our code is correctly checked. So you can see everything is correctly done. So let's go to the next task. Uh, um, for this task three, we are meant to change our working directory to the root directory and then uh, move the file not here um, to the directory uh, um, temporary directory at school. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first, let me just copy uh, this directory here. Um, let me copy it. So I'm going to um, create the file not here. So let's go ahead and do it in the new directory. Uh, let me clear the script. So here, I'm um, going to clear the script. Then yeah, now, just go ahead and uh, um, create the file not here. And the redirect already with the directory. So create the file not here. I'm going to do use touch to create the empty file not here. So we're going to create an empty file called um, not here. The root directory, and then that's here. So, um, create the file not here. So, if we do ls, you want to see the file here, not here. So, you can see the file uh, not here, it's present. So, let, let's do the next. So, let's move the file not here to the uh, temporary directory um, mb. So, we're going to paste the uh, file here. Uh, so, we're going to move it to this file. So, sorry, uh, oops. so we're going to uh, not here. We're going to move the file name here. The file name is not here. So, let's write the file name here. Uh, not here, so uh, not here. Uh, so this is the So and do that. Uh, so uh, oops, uh, oops, oops. So uh, yeah. So this is the file name. Not here. So, so we're going to move it to this file. Then find directory. So we're going to click enter. Well, our code is checked correctly. That means uh, we have done with this uh, task. For this next task, uh, we're going to do uh, change our direct. We're still in the charge of our root directory, then, de then delete the file um, ready to be removed. So we're going to create the file first before delete it. So let's go ahead and create the file ready to remove in our root directory. So let me just copy the file name. So I'm going to copy the file name. Um, let's go ahead and click the screen. So we're going to click the screen. Um, so click the screen. Then we're going to create an empty file with touch. Um, the empty file name is going to be called uh, ready to be removed. So we're going to create the empty file in the root directory. So let's create the empty file with touch. So now with touch, they will provide the empty file in here. And this is the right empty file called ready to be removed. Um, Hit enter. Um, when hit enter, they will do ls to check if the file actually exists. And you can see the, um, the file exists here, ready to be removed um, in the root directory. So now let's go ahead and click the screen again. Um, it's not composite. I um, will just uh, just uh, just to uh, make the, the screen very clear for you to work on. So that's I'm playing the screen. So right now you're gonna um, um, delete the, the empty file which you just created. So let us delete the empty file from our root directory. Uh, so we're going to write the file name. Then we go to hit enter. So we hit enter and the file is removed. So when you check ls, you can see uh, the file is no more available. Uh, so we have to delete the file. So we have completed this task. So let's go ahead and do the next task. Before then, let's check if our code is correct. So let's go ahead and check. Wow, you can see our code is slightly checked. It's correct. So the task is being, uh, it's been deleted. So let's go and, and do the next task. Uh, for the next task, uh, yes, so down they are under task five. So now, so you change your working directory to the directory, then create a, a directory called so amazing. So let me just copy the file name so amazing. So we're gonna create a directory called so amazing the root directory. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so to do that, so let's just cd to the root directory. Um, to the root directory, so um, cd to the root directory. We are now in the root directory. So now let's just create the file so amazing. So we're gonna create the file called um, um, create the directory. Sorry, uh, the MDKIO. KDIL, so um, this is the directory name. So I'm gonna create it. Um, school is amazing. We created the directory. Uh, okay, the file is already existing, uh, so no problem. So we already have the file created before now. So yeah, let's go there and check the code if it's correct. Um, okay, wow. Well, 
uh, our code is quite right, rightly checked. So let's go to the next task. Um, the next task, uh, we're going to create a, um, uh, so this is actually the last task. Um, for the last task, we're going to change our data to the directory. Then we move the uh, file, the directory empty directory. So we're going to create the empty directory first before we move it. So let's just copy the empty directory we want to create. Then so we're going to create it. So here, I'm going to create the empty directory. I created the empty directory using NKDI arrow. Um, this is a way of doing it. And I'll copy the paste the empty direct, the directory name here. I'll create the empty directory. So um, I'll create the empty directory. So let's just go ahead and clear our screen. Um, so done that. So now let's see if the directory actually exists. So we'll do uh, ls. You can see the uh, uh, empty directory and exist here. This is directory on blue, highlighted on blue. So let's go ahead and delete the end directory. So delete the directory m l m uh, i arrow to remove the directory. So I mean delete directory. That we, um, we just go ahead and provide the directory name we want to delete, which is the empty directory. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, very pretty simple so you just do a uh, paste so we're going to paste and move the empty directory so we have done that so now if we check again uh, the entry directory doesn't exist and so we are done for the task this offer the task um, so see you again in the next video bye for now